So WWE's having their product appear on a new streaming platform. Hooray! You just had a legend come back after a long time away to win the Royal Rumble. Hooray! And lo and behold, wouldn't you know, here comes Daniel Bryan forcing his way into a triple threat main event spot at WrestleMania. Hooray! Oh, excuse me, excuse me. For the neckbeards and nerds. Yes, 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 yes. Is it 2014 or 2021? The fuck is the difference here? Well, there's some. Well, well, let's be clear. Let's be completely, totally, transparently, crystal clear here. Daniel Bryan, in no way, shape, or form, absolutely, positively, no way should he be in the main event with Edge and Roman Reigns for the Universal title at WrestleMania. No way! It's stupid. That's stupid. The whole thing is stupid. And I would hope, even though I know some of the people that probably clicked on this video, I know you guys operate, once you hear any what you perceive to be Daniel Bryan slander, you shut off the logical part of your brain and it's all about emotion and passion and blind flaming keyboard fingers of fire on a keyboard rage. But you've got to agree with me that this is stupid. He has no business in this damn main event. None. So stop trying to spin it. Stop trying to say he does. Stop trying to excuse it. Stop trying to justify it. It's stupid. Like 2014 was one thing. Because there's no doubt back then that Daniel Bryan was appealing to the audience. He was getting your loudest reactions and all of this and all of that. So it was very clear the company called an audible. And they went with it. They shouldn't have. Because it's not like it ended up being a raging success. It's what happens sometimes when you listen too closely to the customer. And you give them everything that they want. Then they realize they don't really want it because you don't know how to do it in the way that they want it anyways. And that's exactly what the fuck happened. So a lot of you look back at WrestleMania 30 with warm feelings. And you really frankly shouldn't. It was more of a statement and an indictment against wrestling fandom as a whole, talking about this kind of entitled ass behavior of, I didn't give you my win, I'm gonna bitch and moan, and then they turn around the next year when Roman wins the fucking Royal Rumble and Daniel Bryan doesn't, and it's the same type of crap. Like, you assholes really got carried away in the middle part of the last decade because you literally seem to act like every time Daniel Bryan didn't win something big, it was the end of your fucking existence. It's ridiculous. But here we are in 2021, and you, you don't necessarily see the same buzz. You don't see this same type of push for Daniel Bryan. Sure, you have those passionate, hardcore Daniel Bryan fans, but I don't think they're tearing down the internet. They're not burning the place down like they were in 2014, 2015 for the guy. So why the fuck are you choosing to do this now, WWE? This makes no goddamn sense. Now... I have said, and I will say again, that there certainly is a story there with Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns. I have certainly said that if they wouldn't have done Edge, you could have made one with Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns talking about a story work in the build-up to WrestleMania. You could have. You absolutely could have. And it could have been successful in a different way. But if you wanted to put him in this fucking match, then you should have just had him win the Royal Rumble. Because if you're thinking about it from like a creative, a storyline, a kayfabe standpoint, this makes, and I want to repeat and emphasize again, this makes absolutely no fucking sense. Daniel Bryan doesn't win the Royal Rumble, Edge does. So Edge gets his choice of champion. And meanwhile, he chooses Roman Reigns eventually. 
here's the guy, the big comeback story, the I want to get back to relevancy, I want to get back to the top because my career was taken away from me, now I've got a second chance, a new lease on life, and I want to make the most out of it while I can, where you've got the head of the table, the tribal chief, saying, nah, dog, this is my spot. Like, the, the story is interesting. The star power works. The element, the dynamics, and the chemistry work. And if you idiots would have allowed, and by idiots I mean Vince and Hunter and Stephanie and WWE and all the fuck sticks in creative, would have allowed this to just be focused on on its own, you could have had a really hot, interesting, compelling story that would have built up to a very compelling, what in the world's going to happen here, night two WrestleMania main event. But no, 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 no. We got to take Daniel Bryan, who did not win the fucking Royal Rumble. We got to take Daniel Bryan, who did not beat Roman Reigns at Elimination Chamber. We got to take the Daniel Bryan, who did not beat Roman Reigns at Fastlane. And now, reportedly, we're talking about throwing him in so it could be a triple threat at WrestleMania? That's stupid and lazy! He's already had two title shots against Roman and has lost both of them. Why in the fuck would you give him a third one? Furthermore, if your whole argument is, well, you don't want Edge to have to eat the pinfall, you don't want Roman to eat the pinfall, then why in the hell did you book the match to begin with? That's stupid. Part of the purpose here is the wins and losses should matter. They absolutely should matter. And there should be some type of consequence. If anything at this point, for a company who so often goes out of its way to waste all of our fucking time, here was a chance. Is the legend come back and win one more time, one more shot at glory like this fascinating like redemption story in its own way? Or does the top dog, the head of the table, the tribal chief, does he maintain his spot? Like if Roman loses, what's in it for him? What happens next? How does he respond? How does he bounce back for Edge? If he loses, like how devastating is it? What does it mean? What do you do next with him? Like there's so many possibilities and potentials for things that sitting there and trying to throw somebody potentially into this match, potentially, and I even say potentially because God only knows what the hell this company's planning at this point in time, but potentially to be there to be the job guy is just dumb and lazy. That doesn't help Edge, that doesn't help Roman, and it doesn't help Daniel Bryan either. The same guy who was sitting there jobbing out to guys like Cesaro and Shinsuke just a couple of months ago, now all of a sudden we're fucking fast-tracking him up to a spot where he's going to potentially main event WrestleMania? What the hell has he done to deserve it? Before you a-holes sit there and say, well, what has Edge done to deserve it? It's Edge! He's been gone for almost a damn decade! He came back for a little bit, and then he was gone again, and he's back! He's the Rumble winner! Put some respect on his name! Fucking deserves it! And instead, this damn dumbass company has ruined it! If you were so insistent about putting Daniel Bryan in here, and you didn't want to have Roman lose, or you didn't want to have Edge lose, then it should have just been Daniel Bryan winning the Rumble, so that way you can make some type of logical argument that he actually deserves a spot from a storyline and kayfabe standpoint, which you cannot, and I repeat, you cannot do right now. And you should have just went with Daniel Bryan versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania. But you didn't. You had Edge win the damn Royal Rumble for a reason. Go with that. Go with him and Roman. Find something else for Daniel Bryan to do. And what's even more reckless and stupid about this whole damn situation is now you've basically burned through and wasted the story that you could have had with Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns because you're clogging it up into the Edge and Roman story arc. So instead of having two separate programs, you could have went Edge and Roman, then you could have went Roman and Daniel Bryan, and potentially even Daniel Bryan and Edge. Like, you could have had all types of possibilities here. Now... You know, unless you're going to sit there and actually have Edge win at Mania. And you're assuming maybe the Tribal Chief will retain at Mania. Now you're going to sit there. You've already had both Edge and Daniel Bryan face off against him. He's already now beaten Daniel Bryan three fucking times. And if he beats Edge, what the hell difference does it make? Why would you want to see that again? It's just so stupid. And they put themselves in this box intentionally. 
And if it's the whole thing of, well, yeah, some of the fans wanted Daniel Bryan. They always are going to want Daniel Bryan to win because they're disconnected from reality and they're fucking morons. Your guy can't win every single time, period. Sometimes you need fresh blood. You need new things. And before you a-hole sit there and say, well, now you got Roman protecting me in WrestleMania, take the other shit from the past aside and look at this Roman, look at what they've done, look at what he's done, and tell me that he doesn't deserve the fucking main event to close the whole WrestleMania weekend. You're a clown if you think otherwise. But Daniel Bryan, from a kayfabe storyline standpoint, has no business in this main event at WrestleMania. None. And frankly, just from a creative standpoint, they have no business putting them in here. That whole third wheel thing, third wheels in wrestling a lot of times, these triple threat matches that I usually fucking hate are just like third wheels on a date. It's usually not a foreteller of good things to come. I mean, what possible justification can you have for squeezing Daniel Bryan in at this point? No, you're being selfish and stupid if you're trying to make that convincing type of argument because it's not a good one. Once you went with Edge, you go with Edge. If you wanted Daniel Bryan in this goddamn spot so badly, Hunter and Stephanie and Vince, then Daniel Bryan should have won the Rumble, period. He should have found something else damn for Edge to do. You're trying to play the best of all worlds, and in the meantime, nobody's going to be happy here. And frankly, if you're a Daniel Bryan fan, why in the hell would you want him in this main event where for all intents and purposes, for all intents and purposes, he's there to be the jobber bitch to either Edge or Roman Reigns, or potentially both of them, because he's going to get a couple of spears from both of them. How the hell would you want that for him? Weird to me. So yeah... Daniel Bryan being in the main event of WrestleMania is stupid. And if they actually do it, WWE deserves to be criticized for it by the Daniel Bryan haters and the Daniel Bryan marks too. Nobody should be really happy about it. And stop having such low standards of being like, oh, they gave it to me now, so I'm just looking forward to a great match. And, oh. <sighs> Have some damn self-respect and dignity, please.